we begin with two back-to-back -back holiday tragedies here in the Hudson Valley. Dozens are now displaced after two separate fires. One in Orange County where two residents narrowly escaped a massive fire. The second in Westchester where several apartments went up in flames. So let's uh, join Emily Young now who's at that scene in Harrison with more details for us tonight. Emily. the day when we're all counting down the moments till we can be with our families, eating our Thanksgiving meals in our nice cozy homes. Well, now about two dozen people no longer have a place to call home. Harrison Fire Department says the fire broke out at about 5.30 yesterday evening here at 3 Calvert Street. The fire started in an apartment on the fifth floor. We're told firefighters immediately stretched hoses into the building while also helping residents and their pets get out. The American Red Cross was on the scene as soon as possible. We t opened up a reception center right here behind us for them to gather in um, while the fire department took care of the fire and to figure out what the next steps would be. Um, that turned into a, an overnight shelter for about nine or ten residents who stayed with us last night. Um, we provided meals and uh, comfort cots, blankets, um, comfort kits for all of those residents. Now the Salazzo Recreation Center just next door. This is where they have that makeshift shelter and it will remain one for the foreseeable future uh, until there's a plan in place for these displaced residents. Now we spoke with a member of the restoration company that the building hired. He said it'll be a matter of months until the building is back to normal. Now earlier today residents were allowed inside very briefly to pick up some basic essentials and the American Red Cross tell us they're working to figure out a way to bring a Thanksgiving meal to the shelter so that they too could enjoy the holidays. And if there's one thing they're thankful for this holiday season, it's that everyone got out safe and sound. We're in Harrison, Emily Young, News 12.